Hey everyone, and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're gonna to take a real quick look at a brand new 2023 Alta 2600 KRB travel trailer. This is gonna be a little quicker than my normal long videos with the uh, more detailed picture overlay and stuff. But we're gonna run in here real quick for you, kind of show you what this one's all about. We're running a little short on time today. So first things up, this is a rear bathroom front bedroom couples coach. So we have one slide out on this model. This one was ordered with the theater seat feature here directly across from the TV area. You have big windows overlooking the back side of the RV area, deep tent safety glass windows, and they do have the pull down roller shades. You have a traditional booth dinette. There are drawers under each side and it will make into a bed. Electric outlet, USB charger ports under there as well. Now right across from your theater seat area here is your little entertainment area. So you have electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. Furion sound bar. This was ordered with the TV as well and some overhead cabinet space. Now, over on the side here are some controls as far as the awning in and out button, slide out in and out button, some light switches, your monitor panel and stuff. Back in behind the TV area, you do have kind of a little pantry or closet area. There's a motion light up there. So you can cram quite a few goodies in here if you want. Also, it's prepped for the uh, King Wi-Fi stuff. Up into your kitchen area here, you have the Everchill 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt fridge. There's a drawer below the refrigerator, electric box with the breakers and fuses down here, four drawers and some storage under the sink area, has the flip up countertop extension, and then there's also a little pull-out drawer down there on the side, which is uh, for pets. It's little bowls and stuff down there. Three burner stove top, flip up glass lid, nice size window overlooking the campsite area of your RV. You have your microwave, some more overhead cabinets. And just kind of looking down the roof line here, this one was ordered with one AC. So you have a ducted AC that runs through here. There's also a roof vent up here as well. On the side of the wall here, you have digital thermostat for your propane furnace and your air conditioner, and also the on-demand water heater controls as well. Sliding door to block off your bedroom area here. Camper king bed, you got two drawers, and hanging closet on each side, along with some overhead cabinet space. A roof vent in here. Now this particular unit was also prepped with 50 amp electric service, which pre-wired it for a second AC that could be dropped into this vent if you wanted to. A Little bit of cubby space back in behind there. You have electric outlet and USB charger ports on each side of the bed as well window on each side of the bed and they do open. Now there is some TV hookups over here. So if you wanted to put a TV in here, there's a backer in the wall where you could do that. Let's spin around here so you can get a better view from the other side. Be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Now, before we leave the bedroom here, just a real quick thing underneath this bed. This bed does raise up. It's got a little shock assist on it. So you can see there's kind of a little cut out there. So you could, if you do have pets, I guess, you could have them go underneath of there, say like a cat litter box or something. Um, 
you know, a little place for the dog to sleep under there or something, or just use it for storage. And then there's also a couple pull-out drawers there for extra storage. Going on back to the rear of the RV, this is the big bathroom area back here. So you have big medicine cabinet, sink area, storage underneath of there, porcelain foot flush toilet, there's heat and AC both in here as well. Window does open. Step in shower. Another fan up here. Kind of see back here, kind of a little linen area. Has a little skylight up above. And the Alta is an all aluminum studded camper. So you have aluminum studs in your sidewalls, your floor, and your roof. Window here in the entry door is set up for the uh, Lippert Thin Shade that you can buy aftermarket. Stepping back out here for you, you have a white fiberglass exterior which is attached to the Asdale composite material instead of a wood Luon backer. Dual axle units currently riding on Goodyear Endurance tires. You have 12 volt brakes, easy lube hubs, aluminum wheels. There's TV hookups out here if you wanted to put a TV out here. You got your furnace exhaust, two outdoor speakers, has an outdoor mini fridge here as well. More ride step above entrance step, enclosed underbelly, Pet friendly leash latch back here. Electric stabilizer jacks. There's a gas line hookup back here for a portable grill. You have hot and cold outside utility, or I'm sorry, hot and cold outside low point water drains back here. Power awning, LED light strip built in, manual override in the front head. The on-demand water heater back here. There is also a little cold water spray port right here. Black tank flush, spare tire is actually a Goodyear Endurance tire also. Four inch square two bumper, ladder to get you up onto the roof. Prepped for observation camera back here. Really nice aftermarket feature, definitely recommend adding. Detachable 50 amp electric cord. Dump area back here, light back here controls for your rear stabilizer jacks. Now they actually have individual buttons, one for each rear jack. So you got a little more control over it compared to some of the other brands, which one button does both rear jacks and one button does the front. So depending on how your terrain is where you're at, you got a little more control there. Going up this direction here, you've seen slide out here. Push a button, it goes in and out, 12 volt slide, manual override in case of an electronic failure. The other jack controls here, fresh water tank drain, a dump area for the kitchen also right here. Drop frame, usually don't find a drop Z frame on a trailer, it's more of a fifth wheel thing. Fresh water tank drain also there. That drop Z frame gives this area more height so you can put taller items back in here. Have your little docking station area here, solar charge controller, city water, fresh water inlets, outside utility shower, battery disconnect, cable inlets, an electric outlet over here, and a couple crank handles. Thicker baggage doors, metal slam locks, magnetic holder here for the doors, by the way. And then you also have some very important informational stickers. I want to pop these up for you here real quick. First one popping up is your main production date sticker. Basically has the production date, VIN number, axle sizes, but most importantly here, gross vehicle weight. That's axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. Do not exceed that number. Next one is your unloaded vehicle weight sticker, which has the 
weight the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line and also the length. Next, cargo carrying capacity sticker. Basically here telling you how much gear you can load into the RV before you exceed that gross weight on the first sticker. And last but not least, tire sticker here. Telling you tire size, but most importantly, cold tire pressure. Make sure you check your tire pressure, very important to maintain. You have a powered tongue jack with a light built in. Also has a manual override, heavy duty safety chains, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, two 20 pound propane tanks with the hard bottle cover, auto change over regulator, lower diamond plate here. And then you have a really nice three quarter fiberglass front cap with little glow LED lights that come down each side. Enclosed underbelly as well. A lot of really nice features here. Thanks for taking the time to check out my video, guys. Be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. Thanks again.